Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing a what's in my bag. Now, it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, so definitely keep watching if that's up your alley. You've got the faith that I could bring. First, I will just mention you may notice that my background's a little bit different than usual, and that's because I am in Toronto at my mom's place. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you've probably already noticed that, but yeah, that's where I am for the long weekend. So hopefully you guys had an excellent long weekend and let's get into my bag. Now this bag is just a kind of generic tote bag that I picked up in Hong Kong last year in a boutique in Central so unfortunately I can't tell you anything specifically about this bag because it is unmarked and unbranded but I did find very similar styles to this bag, so I've linked them down in the description box below if you are keen on something like this. And I've also found them at different price points as well, so you can definitely go check those out. As for this particular bag, it is just a medium-sized bucket tote. It does have some nice details like this tasseling on the side, and it also has this stitching that goes across uh, opposing corners. It's got both a top handle, and a shoulder strap, which I have knotted to make it a little bit shorter because otherwise it's more like a crossbody strap than a shoulder strap. And it also has some feet, which I think we can all appreciate for those of us who have to put our bags on the floor every now and then. I think this type of bag is great for summer because it is just the perfect color. Anything that's really light and neutral is perfect. Also the material, it is leather, but it's like treated leather, so the uh, exterior here is super durable. I feel like you can't make a dent in this. It's pretty much invincible, which is also good for summer because you know, I'm going to be sweaty and the last thing I want to do is sweat over some nice bags. Uh, the interior is just e, uh, the open suede, so yes, that can tend to get a little bit dirty, but whatever, it's on the inside, so I don't care. <laughs> okay, let's get into what I have in here. First, you may have noticed a little magazine poking out, and that's because this bag is unfortunately just a tad bit too small to hold a magazine vertically, but this is the most recent, or at least the most, one, the most recent one I have right now, copy of the New Yorker magazine, and I've talked about this in various other videos, I've waxed poetic about it, but it is just my favorite magazine. I love the articles, the long-form journalism, the essay-style journalism that's in here, usually covering like really interesting random topics, definitely not the stuff you typically see in our annoying 24-7 news cycle culture, so I highly recommend it. Even if you don't subscribe, you can go to the website and they have like, I don't know how many, but multiple free articles before you hit a paywall every month. So you can definitely go check those out. You, I don't know, I just always find such interesting things. Next, I will just take out this water bottle. Another reason why this is a good size for the summer, I just think, is because you do want to carry things like water every now and then as you are more dehydrated in the summer. And this is about as big of a bag as I would ever go except for a work bag. And that's because I just generally prefer smaller things. I don't like to carry everything but the kitchen sink. However, having something of this size when the actual bag itself is quite light is nice because then you can carry things like this. Moving along, inside you can see there's that little interior pocket, but then other than that, it's just one big cavern. So in that little small pocket, I have my phone, and it's just the iPhone 7 Plus. It does not have a cover, which I know, right? But I am one of those people who, I just generally don't like covers. I do put one on occasionally if I'm like traveling or something, um, but other than that, I don't really like it because I just love the look of the phone itself, and if you put a cover on this, you know, you lose some of that aesthetic appeal, even if it's a really cool cover. One thing I do always do, though, is I put on a tempered glass case on the front, like a, just a one sheet of tempered glass, and that's because it really, really has saved my phone in the past where I will drop it and it just falls at the exact angle where it would normally shatter the glass, but because I have that tempered glass on the front, it shatters the tempered glass cover instead. So I highly recommend getting these. They're very affordable to get on Amazon, uh, and I will link them down below. But 
yeah even if you wear like a cover on the back of your phone you should still get one for the front it's just I don't know I just feel like that is the one thing that's the most vulnerable part of the phone and that's what you need to protect more than the back of the phone <laughs> okay also in that little front pocket I just have my card case wallet I have showed this in many videos it's just my um, opening ceremony little card case that I absolutely love and that's all that I have in the little interior pocket. So on to the rest of the main compartment. Here is a notebook that I've been carrying around and this I also posted on Instagram. I do not recommend this notebook. It is from this company Sloan Stationery and the reason why I don't recommend it is because the paper in here sucks. Even though it's a very cute notebook, it has this kind of like reptilian cover and a cute little slogan. Paper is really critical for a good notebook experience and this does not meet my criteria for a good notebook. And the reason I have this is because I got it as part of the Zoe Reports Box of Style subscription, which is like a quarterly luxury box subscription, which I honestly don't recommend. It is quite expensive and even though it says that you're going to get like, you know, $400 of stuff in each box, you end up getting stuff like this, which is just kind of yeah okay maybe they have a high retail price but like I would never pay $25 for something like this you know so yeah I'm not a big fan of the box of style in case you are curious about that then I have my sunglasses so I have my sunglasses in here which I talk about in my last video so you should go check that out if you are keen on some cheap and cute sunnies and this is what uh, the pair that I have the Aphrodite again so you should definitely go check that video out. I think these are so cute and again they are just for the price. I mean I honestly don't have any complaints so love that. I've got my headphones in there which I've talked about these headphones before in other videos so I'm not going to go into it. Then some receipts. Ah okay. This is good to share. This is a quest bar so I like to have these handy especially in the afternoon when you are craving something sweet like maybe a cookie or a cake but this is a good alternative even if it's not you know as good as a giant cookie this does have 20 grams of protein and one gram of sugar so that's awesome because even if you just eat half of this you are feeling satiated until dinner and yeah it's a good way to if you are on any kind of diet um, this is a good way to curb your appetite with just a big protein bar and this is not a low calorie bar, it's still got 200 calories, but it is, again, the high protein is so great for, you know, keeping your cravings at bay, and it does feel like you're eating a cookie. Okay, some keys in here. A lip balm, Ugh, these lip balms are, you know, they're fine, but like this form factor sucks. And this is one of the few bags that I have that you can actually like have something like this in there. And I'm just down to the last couple of things in here, so I'll start with this. This is a Kevin O'Quan highlighter, and it comes in this beautiful little velvet pouch, which is a bit dirty right now, but yes. <laughs> and here is the actual packaging itself. It's gorgeous. So Kevin O'Quan, if you aren't familiar, was, you know, he has since passed, but he was a preeminent makeup artist of the 80s and 90s and just before he passed he kind of started this makeup line which has since grown and expanded and his products are seriously so gorgeous so I have this this is the Neo highlighter in the shade Sahara and it's just you know an ombre beautiful highlighter and the reason I have this is because you know in the summer you kind of want that nice glow so yeah I actually like to use the light side of this just as a kind of almost like a powder as you would use a powder but you know for touch-ups throughout the day so I just put it on like the you know tops of my cheeks and then like you know parts of my forehead just to have this nice effervescent glow I think it's absolutely gorgeous and then the darker side actually works really well as a bronzer so yes I love this 
I also like carrying this because the mirror in here is huge and gorgeous and super crystal clear. So it's a great alternative to a traditional kind of powder compact. And obviously to use that you need a brush. So in this little pouch I have a few extra things like a little brush just to pick up the powder but I also have oh yeah I have some tampons <laughs> now I think I've talked about this before but I do love the Kotex tampons I absolutely hate Tampax tampons any variety pearl to the cheap ones I don't like Tampax but I do like these higher end Kotex ones I don't like their whatever generic line but the higher end sleek tampons I think are excellent and I also really like the OB tampons but if you don't like you know applicator free then definitely the Kotex ones these have very similar tampon heads so you can't go wrong I yeah I highly recommend trying these they're not really the most environmentally friendly or you know organic or anything like that but I just I don't know for my period I just want something that'll work and I don't want to worry about like any kind of accidents so maybe one of these days I'll try a diva cup or thinks but I don't know I think I, I need I need some more convincing before I go down that path other things in here oh yes some more oil blotting film I mean it's ironic that you know I have that highlighter to give me glow but even if I want glow I still don't want a greasy nose so like just around the corners of my nose is where I will generally get pretty oily throughout the day and then t-zone you know so I do like to blot even if I want a glow uh, then I have some hand cream which I've talked about in my recent favorites video and lastly I just have a couple of lip products in here so one is this NYX soft matte cream in the color Stockholm this is not the best formula and I'm trying to find like a good alternative to this that's a better formula but I absolutely love this color Stockholm it is like the perfect pinky nude so here you go as you can see it's just got the right hint of pink and peach I find other nudes can be a little bit too brown or you know whatever but this is just like the perfect shade of pinky peach and this is again the color Stockholm so once I find this in a better formula in some other product I will definitely let you know but for now this is one of my favorites just for the color and then the last thing I have in my little pouch here is something that I do love for lips both the color and the formula and that is this YSL glossy stain this is what I'm wearing right now and it's been a few hours and I've actually had a light lunch wearing this so you can see the wear is fantastic this product you guys I am super impressed it is just a beautiful beautiful glossy stain like my lips you can see it's got like a slight gloss and again it's been a while since I've applied this but when you first apply it it's definitely more glossy yet it has really good staying power I've tried like it cosmetics gloss stain before and that wears more like a gloss rather than a stain so this product I've been super impressed with and it's like just a perfect thing to use in the summer because it's so easy to apply even though you've got a bold lip it still I don't know something about this formula and the way it looks on your lips doesn't feel like you are trying too hard you know what I mean like I don't know I just love it uh, so yeah it's again just so easy to reapply you don't even need a mirror if you want some more of the you know crisp outline then yes you, may, you can be a little bit more careful with the application but for reapplication just like splattering it all over your lips it's so great so easy I'm a big fan of this glossy stain and I have the color 46 which I believe is called Rouge Fusion it also has such a lovely smell it's like I don't know it reminds me something of from childhood like maybe like cherry popsicles or something so good <laughs> and that is it with my what's in my bag so now my bag is empty and that's all I have to share with you guys today so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I will see you very soon. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, bye.